Oh my goodness. Is my family breathing in all this dust, dirt, and grease from our air conditioner? Is yours? Today I'm going to show you the proper way to clean your air conditioner, specifically the indoor unit of a split type like this Matrix 1.5 horsepower AC. However, the steps I'm going to show you throughout this video pretty much apply to any AC brand, type, or model. What we have is a Matrix 1.5 horsepower split type system. Regardless, both split type and window type models all have air filters inside which trap dust and particles from the air. However, a common misconception is that by just cleaning the air filters, you're already good. Actually, there are other parts of the unit you should also clean regularly to ensure you and your family are breathing in cool and clean air. So let's cut the AC's power source and begin. Hey there, this is Handyman007, and if we're just meeting for the first time, hello! And my passion is building, fixing, and improving all sorts of stuff at home for my family and sharing with you what I have learned from experience and from others. A symptom of dirty air filters is water condensing around the indoor unit and eventually dropping or leaking down on the floor. In this previous video, I showed you two solutions to fix an AC that's leaking water inside the room. The first of those two solutions is cleaning the air filters. However, I did not dwell much on it because the filters of that unit were already clean and I had to focus more on the second solution. And you wouldn't have guessed how simple the second solution was. You can watch the full video later by clicking the info card on the upper right or the link in the description below. Now in this video, we are going to focus on not just cleaning the air filters but also the entire indoor unit. And do watch till the end of this video because I'm going to share with you a power tip on how you can reduce your electric bill through the proper setting of your AC. Step 1 is opening the front panel or cover to gain access to the air filters. Next, we remove the air filters either by sliding them out or snapping them off. Now these don't look too bad because I do clean them every 2-3 to three months. Trust me, I've seen neglected filters turn literally black with so much dust and grease. One thing I will say is to be very careful in handling the filters. You do not want to disturb the dust that's clinging onto them or else the dust particles will fall and spread in the room, leaving you with more cleaning to do later. For now, Place them outside or in the sink and we'll come back to them later. The next step is using a vacuum cleaner to get rid of cobwebs, dust, and loose dirt all around the indoor unit. I highly discourage using a blower because while it will blow the dust away from the unit, it will just spread the dust all over the room. Remember, you are cleaning indoor. A blower is more effective and less disruptive for cleaning the outdoor unit. And what you really need to vacuum is the air intake vents on the top part of the unit. This is where all the dirt and dust accumulate even before reaching the air filters. The next step is wiping the unit with a damp cloth. Just damp, not soaking wet, because too much water might find its way to the electrical components and cause damage. Also, mix water with liquid detergent such as dishwashing soap. Do not use powder detergent because sometimes it doesn't dissolve completely and just adds to unwanted solid particles that turn into gunk when it dries off. Focus on the air intake vents on top because as you saw earlier, it's the dirtiest part of the housing. Failing to clean that area now would mean dust just ending back to your clean filters later. You might be wondering why do we need to use a damp cloth? It's because if we use a dry cloth or even a brush, 
will just be agitating the dust particles and cause them flying around the room. So think about this, wet dust can't fly. Also, focus on other parts where dust and grease can accumulate, such as the fins, underneath the front panel, and the louvers. If your damp cloth gets too dirty, you can always clean it by rinsing and re-soaking in a fresh batch of water and liquid detergent. The next step is cleaning the air filters themselves under running water. Just rub them with your fingers and avoid using scouring pads or brushes, or you might fray the filters. I highly recommend using antibacterial dishwashing liquid because not only is it effective in dissolving and washing grease away, but can also kill bacteria and leave a clean, fresh smell. Don't forget to also wash the antibacteria pads that come with the air filters. Some will have just one pad, while others might have two or even three. Rinse until you hear your fingers making a squeaking sound against the filters. And that's what squeaky clean actually means. Lightly tap the filters against the rim of the sink or tub to shake off excess water. And set them outdoor to air dry. I also recommend drying them under the sun to kill off harmful bacteria that might still be lurking. Once completely dry, it's time to return the filters. Slide them back in or snap them back on. Then pull down the front panel and snap it back onto the main housing with light taps on the sides. After switching the AC circuit breaker back on, it's time to enjoy a cleaner and cooler air. Let me grab the remote and switch the unit on. And since you've reached the end of this video, let me share with you the power tip I promised you earlier. According to numerous governments and power experts, 24 to 27 degrees Celsius is the prescribed temperature range to comfortably cool our bodies indoors while not overworking the AC compressor. Setting the temperature within this range not only makes you comfortably cool, but also allows you to better manage your power consumption, which ultimately reduces your electric bill. And with that, we're going to bring this video to a close. This is Handyman007, and you can do this.